Good morning. Um, we're here at a rest area. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Um, I can't even think of where we're at. Green, Pennsylvania. Uh, yesterday was pretty rough. We got over to the shipper 8 o'clock in the morning, got loaded, um, got all chained up and got out of there. After I left there, uh, we started heading up here. I actually took 19 and 79 this time um, because of where I'm delivering to which is uh, Belfast New York um, on my way up I can't remember the route off the top of my head honestly it was between 40 and 77 it like spit me at the top of out at the top of uh, 77 there in North Carolina but while I was on that route I uh, came into a construction area and uh, I had a oversized low boy come up behind me into the construction area faster than he should have been and uh, he ended up rear-ending me. Which ended up giving me an instant headache and threw my crap all over the truck. I had stuff come out of the compartments in the front, stuff come flying off the top bed. Uh, that's where I keep my pants and stuff folded up up on the top bunk and everything came flying down. Luckily uh, I have my nursery tarp sitting up there right now too. Um, luckily that didn't come flying down, but it was, it was crazy. Instant freaking headache. That, that was what really threw me off. Um, I got a little footage I'm going to throw in here. It's, it's, you can't see the guy hitting me because I don't have no cameras pointing to the back, but you can see as I'm going forward the the jolt um, and you can hear the hear the hit my trailer's fine nothing's wrong with my truck we weren't going fast enough for him to really hurt me or hurt my equipment <clears throat> but he just couldn't couldn't get it under control he couldn't get it stopped in time he was he come flying up over the mountain right into the construction he just cleared the other truck to get in the lane behind me and I seen it coming I watched the whole, watched him come over the hill get in behind me and as soon as we started coming down to uh, near stop uh, I knew he was gonna slam right into me so uh, like I said he didn't do any damage to me but his hood was screwed up he had a 379 Pete and uh, his bumper was all mangled, the, the grill was all smashed in, the hood was dented up. So he's going to need to replace the whole front. But we ended up just exchanging information. Um, I think I just got a, a, just a sore neck and a headache most of yesterday. I feel a little little backache this morning, but that's normal. So we're just gonna get on doing what we gotta do. Um, 
Anyway, for the rest of the day, we're delivering this load, like I said, in Belfast, New York. And then I'm probably going to... I'm going to see about going and getting a truck inspection. Since uh, we have to get one every six months with Mercer. Uh, once a year at Mercer. Every other time we can get it done at an approved location. So my my time is up now at the end of this month, well today. So I'll see if I can get an inspection today. If not, I'm going straight home and then uh, I'll have to come out of the house with no loads and just go get an inspection and then try to find something. Either way, it doesn't matter to me at this point. I just want to get home. I got to get this radiator done this weekend and then uh, go from there. So, show you the guy, show you guys the load a little bit, and uh, I'll put up the, the little footage I have for the wreck and the pictures and stuff. So, yeah. Hello, guys. We're here in Belfast. Looks like these guys are getting ready to uh, rewire the whole state. But nothing big. We got two in the front. Got two in the front here, and then one on each one in the middle. And I could only do one on the back, unfortunately. I wish I had enough chains to do two, but she survived, no problems. Unfortunately, because there's so much, there's such little room between the side of the coil and the rub rail, I had to hook down here in the stay pocket. So this chain here isn't doing anything. I'm just hooked to the chain here, and then the binder's hooked to the stay pocket. And I had to do that on all the ratchets, the back four here. The front one I didn't have to worry about because the front one uh, it came down at an angle. I couldn't really angle these. I did, but couldn't. Uh, uh, they're straighter than they are angled. Um, this one's a little more angled to the front, but it is what it is. She held up fine, so we're good.